Yo, check this out, guys, okay? Look at this wall right here. Look at this wall that they've put up at the 50-50 region, right? They've been trying to break that for a while now, but they just cannot break it, the bulls. There's like a team right now that's just trying to drive down the price severely right now. They're alternating between stacking at 50-50 and 50-45. Watch when we get to 50-50, you guys will see the hidden walls, okay? Let's check it out. Here's 50-50, right? You guys see it on this side right there. Watch, see, we're trying to buy it up right now. See, we're trying to buy it up, 50-50, 50-50, so much green across. Some people are buying 50 Bitcoin at a time, which is a quarter million dollar position. Here's another 50 that he's trying to buy right there, right? 50, they're buying in massive amounts right now, but they're unable to drive up the price. Let's see what's gonna happen right here. 50-50 seems to be a pretty key number right now that we just can't break above. Look at these guys, this guy bought in 100 Bitcoin right there. A 100 Bitcoin he just bought. He bought a $500,000 position and two people earlier bought another $500,000. So in the past minute, we've been trying to drive it up by about $100,000, right? Or sort of $1 million in one minute that we've injected into the market. We still can't break this 50-50. Look at this 50-50 number right now. It's just trying to break, but they cannot break above it. The volume must be insane right now. Let's go to like a five minute candle. Let's see what the volume is at. Yeah, the volume is um is pretty strong right now. Okay, you guys look at the sell volume right now. They're pretty red. Some guy drove it down actually already to fifty fourteen. So now we're gonna just keep looking here. See what I mean? Here's the fifty forty five right where they're driving it down now. We see this huge wall at fifty fifty and we just cannot break it at all. So it leads me to wonder what is this going to reach? I think it's still going to reach anywhere between four, like 4,900 to 5,000 ranges. It's just a matter of waiting and being extremely patient in my opinion. I don't think we're going to get anything quite yet that's going to come upwards. That's why I'm being extremely patient right now with my position as well. Right, just super patient guys. We don't have any type of bullish candle on any time frame yet either. Okay, I'm just kind of chilling on the sofa tonight and just watching a movie. I'm uh, just waiting. We get the volume really picking up right now, which is understood. But we take a look at you know the MACD for example. It's not really ready to curve up yet. Not at all. Let's see the 45 minute chart. Is it getting close? A uh, little bit, I think. Yeah, it's gaining strength. I have to admit. 30 minute is probably gaining strength as well. Probably the closest or the 20 minute. I'm guessing. Yeah, so we're waiting for this, you know, the lower histogram ticks are much lower right now. We're just waiting for the curvature to change a little bit. But of course, we're facing and fighting this resistance right here, right? At the 5028. Here we got to 5012 actually, so it's got a lower low already. Notice how the histogram and the MACD is just trending really low to the negative side. We're at literally negative 70 right now on the histogram. So we just are still trying to break the 50-50. You guys see what I'm talking about with this hidden wall? This is um, something you don't really see every day. This is basically bulls getting rejected and bears are just driving down the price a lot right now. So whoever is in control, they are clearly the market markers right now or market makers right now. And um, yeah, we're just so volatile right now, right? I think now they're stacking up the 50, 43.1 ranges. Because now we got an 18 count there, right? 18 count is pretty heavy, so now they're dropping, driving it down even lower. Let's see if they can drive it down. Let's see if the bulls will actually try to buy it up. You see the 20 count of 50-43? Yeah, there we go. They're just dropping it down now. 50-37, right? Here we go. 50-41 ranges. The counts are actually removed, right? Because they did their job and drove it to the 40 ranges back up here now it's just a matter of waiting like the volume is so strong right now it's so heavy you guys have noticed right you look on any of these candles the volume is just really scary right now let's see if there's any going to be any type of uptrend soon here Woo, this is uh insane just watching how this is working out i've been watching this all day guys nothing else has been on my mind today except for this 
just making sure you guys can see me. There you go. Just chilling on the sofa right now and just watching this. See, we got these guys with big counts coming in, right? And whenever there's a big count like this, Is waiting. Yeah, I can't help but think to myself that, you know, maybe this histogram tick will be the final one. But we're getting a lower histogram tick already, like, like pretty much on point. We don't know how much lower this is going to get. I'm even looking at one minute time frames just to, for fun, right? Because it's so interesting to see how this is going to play out. I mean, I look on the five hour chart. There's absolutely no momentum to go up yet, guys. Yeah, there's no confirmation. We're at really low RSI right now, right? We might just get a, you know, like a spike up sometime soon, but not for a while. I mean, I'm really hoping for this strength right there to stay like that, right? You know what I mean? Like, I'm really hoping for the curvature to change because I really want to get this uptrend going sometime soon. Yeah, we're just, the volume is just insane right now, right? The volume is really picking up on every single time frame. Let's see how it's picking up here. This one in particular is a strong sell volume, but this candle right there, guys, that was an interesting candle right there, where it went from a low of 50.84 to 52.89. That was just a tension between the bulls and the bear by a massive amount. So we're getting back up here to the 50-50 ranges. This is what I always do, guys, when I want to time my entries a little bit better. I'm always just waiting, right? It doesn't even matter when we get close up to there. We just end up getting just shot down right away, right? Like you look at the order book and we're getting to like close to 50-50. But every time that happens, the bears just end up slamming a huge amount there. It doesn't even show in the order book because it's just so many when mixed in the, with all the other orders. Yeah, they're showing a little bit of quantity. They're showing like 22 at the 50-50. Watching the order book, it requires a lot of, um, a lot of patience. A lot of um, eye coordination, especially because you got to be able to see everything going on, right? You guys see at the 546.8 range right there? 546.8, they were driving it down with the four, uh, 16 count, 18 count. Right now, 541, look at that. 541.1 is with an 18 count, right? It's, because there's such a high count there, it refers to probably a lot of hidden orders as well. So the market's going to get driven down even more now. So here we're at 537 range, right? And the bulls are not really coming in with big counts right now. 540. Whew. What a fight going on between the bulls and the bears right now. Honestly, I, I've never seen anything like this in a while. But I just kind of went there it for you guys. I think we're going to consistently get lower and lower now. Like we we don't have a single candle that's, you know, supporting at all right now. Right now we're just fighting at this resistance of the previous low, right? Like right around this range. Like if we shot up, it would be just beautiful right now. Let's see, look on the 10 minute chart, histogram is ticking down. Like how much more down can we go right now? Bulls are not defending at all. All I'm looking for is a little spike. That's it, guys. Just a little spike. Right, there we go. Here's the 532 ranges. Sometimes all you need to do is a price action and level 2 analysis, and that's more than enough. Right, you guys are seeing it drop down there. Notice how strong of a resistance that was at the 50-50, right? Because it was a strong resistance, very easy to tell, in my opinion, that it was going to break down. So I'm not really that surprised today, guys. I'm not really surprised at all that this is happening, right? You know, people like Eric Cho, for example, he's thinking that it's going to get to about the 4.8k ranges. Yeah, 4.8 seems pretty reasonable to me. I don't really care too much about the market, to be quite honest, because I'm going to Rome. Yeah, I'm going to Rome in a few days. I'm very excited. If you guys are in Rome, give me a shell, please. But only if you guys are... If you have a significant partner to hang out with as well. I don't do um, third wheels. I'm sorry, guys. 
I really firmly mean that, okay? That I don't do third wheels. So yeah, so you guys better come with the partner, right? Like I'm talking about a guy and a girl because um, I kind of want to meet couples out there. I don't want it just to be awkward for you guys with me and Sarah there. So yeah, so I tweeted here, Rome is fully booked for Wednesday with, um, with Sarah. We'd love to meet couples there. Suggestions on restaurants with beautiful settings would be highly appreciated. So once again, if you guys want to meet up in Rome, like I'm not trying to be a dick or anything, right? It's just I don't want to do third wheels, guys. Just put it that way. It's just it's not fun for me. Because you guys would feel very left out, put it that way. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, and we also want to meet like couples in the city just to see um, how things are, right? So yeah, so if you guys are a guy, make sure you guys are coming with the girl. Or if you're a girl, make sure you're coming with the guy. <laughs> Go the same way. Can you check SWV token? I don't really care, honestly, about other coins right now. There we go. Here's the 5k ranges that we're just about to hit, guys. Right? Here's 5,000. 5,000 ranges being tested pretty hard. And the bears are just stepping in full throttle right now. Yeah, pretty scary, guys. There we go. This is what I expected. Huh. Not that surprising, right, guys? Not really. I mean, I've been calling this, so if you guys have been buying early, it's you guys are doing something wrong. Here's 5,000 right there. 509, here we go. 5,000 is going to be breached for the first time. You guys ready for this? A little bit scary. We're trending closer and closer and closer to finding support, in my opinion. I think 5K is going to be a very psychological factor. Everybody in my group chat and stuff, my friends are all telling me 5k, here we come. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm, um, I'm streaming live and talking to you guys right now. And we are at $5,006 on Bitfinex. And we are just about to trend below 5000 for the first time in about a year. I'm just watching the level 2 right now on Bitfinex. And man, there was a massive wall at 50-50. There were people that were buying about $3 million of Bitcoin total and they couldn't even break that wall and it was hidden. Now we're trending at $5,006 on Bitfinex. Bulls are trying so hard to come in to defend at this point right now. We're just going back and forth between 5006 5020 within seconds right now. This is probably the most exciting I've ever seen it. I just record to my Facebook group here. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm um, I'm streaming live and talking. Yeah, they're it's looking pretty scary. So I'm gonna end this, guys. We know exactly where we can find support, roughly between 5k and 4.9k. I catch you guys later. Wanted to give you an update. Bye now.